fingertips forward, hips high, stretching your armpits, feeling the bow of your head. Remembering that this is to care for your body. This is to strengthen and rejuvenate your whole body from the inside out. Hands and knees as you're ready, always go at your own pace. Arch. Bend, that's one option. 
a really good way to toss and warm up the hips, the thighs, or hop your feet forward for a couple of donkey kicks. Nice. Wow. <laughs> so you do not have to ever hop in this class to get a very advanced sculpt. Three more if you like. Maybe catching some air time. Last one, meet in a squat. Roll your wrists, stretch your arms, a big breath. Sun A with weights, it's our warm up. Grab the weights. Always move through heart center with your weights. Belly, butt, bicep curl, overhead press. Back down to squat. With care, weights lower, belly supports you. Walk or hop back or mountain climber hit. We'll do a good 15 to 20 seconds, your own pacing. Getting the belly, lengthening the spine. Five, four, three, two, one, hop forward, butt back. So the belly just supports the weight up by step overhead. That's the sequence. Go ahead at your own pace for a full minute. To make kind of an exaggerated breath. That helps. Yeah. Push the floor away. Five, four, three, two, one, hop. About three more rounds. Overhead, something like that. I'm kind of feeling the heat build, yeah? This is a bit of a fast push muscle. Five, four, three, two, one, squat. Oh, again, you don't ever have to hop either. Still getting really good workout. This is the second to last one. On the last one, we'll hold mountain climbers for longer. We got five, four, three, two, one, hop it. Bam, bam. Here's our final mountain timer set, and it's longer. So you can vary it up. You can go knee to opposite arm. Go to knee to same arm. Maybe speed it up. Yeah, I just feel like it's, all we're doing is 20 more seconds. Power it up, getting that cardio hit, pushing the floor away. And you know you can do it. I know you can do it, you guys. A little bit quicker. Okay, keep going. Five, four, four, last three. Maybe go up time two. And one down dog. Hop forward right in. Right in, bicep curl. Overhead press. Weights down and up. Here's where we're starting to cool down from that last thing, but we're still working. So it's increasing our recovery time. Of course, whenever you need a break, take one. Whenever you need water, take one. More important to listen to your body and really take care of yourself and then build into it. If you do the same take 20 times, first time you might do a quarter. Maybe the last time you got through, maybe after round 20, you get it all done in a row. Probably not in a row. <laughs> Five, holding it on the lower floor. We're also again mindful workout, mindful workout meaning notice, not just trying to get it done. Feel the glide, feel the glide. Right where we're at. Let's do one more. Maybe hold it on the low for oblique jump to fire. You're holding it pretty low, nudging the elbow. Back, 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 back. Envision this is 10 more seconds. Length your crown of head, seat low, elongate this one. And now you can. Pushing the weights together, rinsing those obliques, rinsing, cleansing. Five, four, three, two. Hold. Woo. Right foot forward. Left leg reverse lunges. Let me hover and kisses the earth. Weights down by your side. Switch legs. So all we're doing is switching legs. Squat at the top. Reverse. Now bicep at the top. Bam. You don't have to say the word bam ever, but for some reason it helps a little bit of the motivation. <laughs> so as I just like to make weird sounds. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, there it is. I like that. A snake breath. Check out your knees. They're right over the center of your ankle, but it's back. Now you really got to do your own pacing here. Switching legs along the way. Right foot will land forward in the lunge in about 10 more seconds. We have a couple more rounds. Let <sighs> hurry. Last three or so. The next time the right foot steps up forward, hold, bicep curl on the lunge. Left knee down. One other option is to keep the left knee on the ground. Just focusing on isometric here. 
just the biceps. Or you hover the left knee to the kiss. The lower the left knee down, a little bit harder. Front knee directly over the front ankle, pushing the floor away because we want to fire the right lower glute next to us. Really the whole hip. And you're getting a little stretch in that left hip crease. Guess what? Three more only. Two, a whole another round. Hold it on low, serving the weights forward. Ten seconds, shoulder blades squeeze, wrap the belly in, and lengthen. Leaning back just enough to wrap that in. So the core is on. Right thigh is bent too. Hold it right here. Low pulses. Just a little bit. A little pulses. Lean back. Grab the belly. Really good. Three. Right thigh is bent too. Hold weights together. Pull them into your heart. A knee lift. Left knee. So our right foot stabilizing. Outer hips hug in. Weights can go overhead. They don't have to. Weights to heart. Warrior through the left leg back. Pause. First one's kind of slow. Wrap in. Left foot lunge at a diagonal. Use that right glute. Bring your foot. Here's one little ab push ups. Right leg stays lifted. Apoprata chaturanga da da. Fancy way to say one leg push up. Maybe add three, two. It's up to you. Right leg comes through. So the leading of the right foot weights to her first. Lift up, left knee to right knee. One leg to asana. Arms overhead. That's a, it's a complex series. Weights to heart, warrior three. Lower left leg. With care, so it's a light landing. Frame the foot. You can either keep your weights, hands on the weights, or release it like the girls. My show, yeah, Malia. Good. So one to three, keep the shoulder heads high. Two, maybe three. Up to you. Right foot forward. Little bit more pacing. Weights to shoulders or to heart. Left knee, right knee. Maybe extending the leg full. Up to you. Weights back through. Now you're at your own pacing with care. Maybe just one shot around the floor and push up. Or, or a mountain climber. See that? Look at that happen. I love that. I love that. Pick. You're twice against you. Twice in this one's a little weird. But we're looking to figure out right now. Stabilizing it. 30 more seconds. Really, truly go at your own pace. Do this for you. I really like to remind us this is not about trying to destroy our body. It's about healing and loving and strengthening our body. <sighs> your own pacing. Right foot forward. Shoulders with weights. Knee to knee. Extend maybe. Last full complete round right here. <laughs> like, uh, right leg up. This is our last maybe out of five push ups just for fun. Four. Or mountain climber hit for more cardio too. One good news. Right foot comes back through, but we'll slow it down. I don't know why that's good news. I said that. Weights to heart. Okay. Left knee lifts again. Isometric hold for one breath. Wrap the belly in. Maybe elongate. Exhale. Weights back through. Warrior three rows and stay. 25 seconds. Oh, squeeze in. Lengthen. You can have knuckles facing the head of your mat or palms facing each other. I'd like to show you, this is a hard, this is the advanced option to have this back leg in warrior three. You absolutely can ground that back leg and the more mild would be deadlift stance or ropes. Both legs are down. Otherwise, see if you can stick it for five. Right glutes, hip, belly in three. We hold the pulse in two. We're right there. Hold the pulse just for about five seconds. Right hip crease back. Squeeze in, weight to heart. Left knee to right knee and bend the knee. Now, tap forward and back. Little hit. Right glute, yes? If you want, you can hover. See how Molly is hovering that left knee, getting her belly, getting her right glute. Or you can tap it, tap it. See about softening that right hip away from you. Ooh, I like this ab with the weights. That's good, that's good stuff. Okay, we got 10. Right left burning, full show. Nine, eight. Exhaling. It's nice to get an explosive exhale out the mouth. Here. Help. Three. We're not messing around. This is real deal. Two. Hold the pulse. Squeeze. You're going to love it. Tricep kick back. Lunge. Yeah. Right here. So there's 25 of these. If you feel the burn in the right leg, good. That's good. Why? Doing that on purpose. That's on purpose, you guys. So notice if you can lower the right thigh. It's going to be done. This is it. Spread the right toes. Try to pause with the hands 
right at the hip points and kick back from there. Left knee can go to the ground. Anytime. You have seven more, lower that right thigh and elongate if you, if you can. Five. Fire up that back leg. Four. I know you can. Three. We'll hold the pulse in two. Flip the palms to face up and as high as you can. Pulse the hands up for seven, six, five. Got to end. Feel the sensation now. Little circle three. Other way two. Hold, lengthen, bend the right thigh lower. Weights to heart. Left knee down. Weights to the side. Take a very short break for that right thigh, right outer hip. 30 seconds, last two hits. Stretch, left knee, giddy is up. Giddy is up, yeah. Tap, pop, 30 seconds. You do not have to touch the ground. You can stay lifted. You do not have to hop. You can open the grips. One way to know is popping. Let's say you're touching the ground and you're like, that actually aggravates something in a not sensational way, you know? Back, covers, add that bicep. Yep, that's it. Pull it up. 
If you want to vary it up for the biceps, you can turn the hands slightly out. And again, go at your own pace. Second and final side of this, of this part. So that's kind of good news. It's like when you want a lot more than you're going the other way. And you know you're already halfway, more than halfway. Up back. Not yet, but in a little bit we'll be meeting with a lot of the food. Might still feel like to start to sweat. Now, I feel like to start to detox and cleanse and release. Three. When the left foot meets forward, we'll hold it. Left foot forward, just biceps down. And the heart rate, the intention with this very advanced class is to keep that heart rate up, to keep the fat burning going, boosting the metabolism in a healthy, mindful way. Inhale, exhale. If you want to breathe out the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and smooth it out, wrap the belly in. Elongate through the spine, 10 more. We won't even do this again. This is it for today. <laughs> okay, you got this up. You got that five. Hovering the right knee low, we hold it in for present moment though, not just trying to get done with it. Right? We're savoring the intensity. Hold it on the low, how we squeeze in so the weight's out. Savoring the intensity of how you feel. Because it's a joy to work out this way, to move into sweat in this way right here, right now. Okay, not getting hard on yourself if you need to take a break though. My guys, like we said, this is the advanced fault too. Squeeze shoulder blades and hold them up, pulse up. Pulse up, keep the elbows bent. Now lower the left side a little bit. You can move back to lower back the belly in three. I know you can feel a little shaky too. Weights pull gently to heart. Right knee lifts to one leg to balance and balance this out. Notice the right toes flex on a little warrior three. Moving right through. Lunge. Take a breath in. Keep leaning the chest forward. Weights frame. You got a push up or three. Left leg stays lifted to fire that lower glute mass, which goes dormant. Keep the shoulders above the elbows. Left leg comes through, so left leg stays lifted there. Weights to shoulders with care. Right knee lifts, overhead press. Maybe you don't have to extend that right leg. Weights come close to your body, taking care. Right leg down. Bring, so this one's a minute. Left leg lifts, maybe add one or two, but keep those shoulders above the elbows. Left foot forward, weights to shoulders. We are carrying from our body. We are feeling the sweat, the detox. So the left glute is the leader of the left. Hold our hip and the belly. Lead the way. So move from that core. Move from that center area of your body. <sighs> Easy in life and on the mat. Just be waiting until it's done, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's kind of, we pattern ourselves that way. A little bit. Left foot leads. Can we use this as an opportunity? Not just to work out our body and our mind, but re to retrain the present moment. How do we do that? Focus on the breath, focus on some sensation. Ooh, Candace is adding that balance that we're in it. Love it, Candace. So you can choose it. Ah, five more. Oh, we we'll need the one legged like Tadasana. We still have some more rounds to practice the flavor. It's one of the reasons why I really love this one. Because you really have no time to think about much anything else. You know, if the mind gets busy, it starts to. Be done, how many more? What's the next thing? And that's off from that as well, isn't it? Once I get to that next part, I'll be good. Once I get to the weekend, once I'm done with work, once I do this, once I lose time to all of those kinds of things, guess what? That doesn't exist. What exists now? Now. Now. Yes. This is the last full complete round. So we've got another full complete round. Left hip leads, one legged, warrior three, lunge all the way through. So go all the way through, you guys. Left butt, and we'll meet in a one leg standing tadasana. Wait to her. So right knee to left knee. Stay here for a complete breath. Maybe that right leg straightens, shoulders soften. Take an exhale, warrior three is next when you're ready. Good, I love that. Take water. Brilliant. Maybe not pushing forward or upright. Hands face each other. This is where we'll grow. Focus on squeezing the shoulder blades in. Notice that that right hip is looking high. Dial the hip right down. Also, the left. 
left hip crease wants to kind of creep and stab a little slower. Left hip crease away from you. Energize that right leg and that belly. Only five more, we hold the pulse in four. You can do it one focal point. You are training your mind as well as your body to hold down the pulse to squeeze the shoulder blades as more as more than you can. Five length into the chest. Left knee bends a little too. Weight to heart, right knee to left knee. You can do this. Notice this side versus the other side, yeah? Put that knee in. So on the first round, on the first side, you, I saw you doing too. Yeah? I want you to focus on elongating your spine. I'm tapping my right foot, forward and back is one option. Primarily, you're gonna feel the side of your left butt. I want you to also feel the lower part of the butt. The lower you bend the left side, the more steady is your left glute and, 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 excuse me, and glute medius and piriformis as strong as the right. My answer for mine, some parts of my left side are in strong. I'm just noticing that. So it's a good noticing. Doesn't mean I'm bad. Just noticing it. So you have five. Hold on the pulse. Yeah, exhale's up and up. Lower with the left side. Three, hold the pulse. Two, hold the pulse and squeeze. Press up. This is it though. Then we have those other two. And this is it with the weight. So kick it back. Don't let the last of belly. Try to keep the weights right to the side of the hips. Just kick it back so you can focus on those triceps. What else is happening? Left booty. Burn things like now. Is this good for females only? Absolutely not. This is amazing for men. Men, a lot of times I just feel like guys get sometimes get back stuff. Strength in those butts. Get strong and they're gonna have no back pain and do the things you love for the rest of your life. Come on, guys. Come on, females. Yeah. Okay, so good news. Ten. Nine. Five. We're crushed. This is extreme. We call this extreme salt, baby. Extreme. Four, three. Elongate through the spine. We're getting tired, but elongate. Last two. Now pulse the weights up behind you as high as you can. And lean forward. You can do it. Burn out. Battle up. Five, five, four, three circles. Three. Lengthen. Two. Circle the other way. Three. Two. Weights to hurt with care. Right knee down. Give a stretch. Weights down. Take a step. We have two more giddy ups. We got that. <coughs> Jump up. Rose are like, are we gonna sweat? We're sweating. We're all sweating here. Stretch as you need. Right in, right in, let's do this. Stretch. We got the right knee up. This is 30 seconds. Or spring. And try to spring it up. Spring it up a little bit. You do not have to tap the ground. What? Already 10 seconds in. Some of you might be like, I wish we could do this forever. I love this move. <laughs> no, I don't know if I just made that up. <laughs> but there's some sort of interesting vibes now. If you feel anything about the leg shaking, bingo. That means we're working at light landing side. I don't know what it is, but when you know it's gonna end, it's often easier to be more present. Three, two, hold on the low. Somehow we need to hold on the low right here. Yeah. Tap the back of We need to know there's gonna be an ending. I'm not just talking about this series, but we need to know for some reason. <laughs> yeah, can knowing that the end is going to happen help us to live in the now. This is what exists. Tapping that back leg, feeling the energy, feeling how strong your mind is, feeling how powerful you are. Noticing if you're still waiting for the end, you feel the left leg, feel the left leg. 15. That helps. Last eight and we'll pulse. Seven. <clears throat> Sensation. We got five. This is four. For real. Three. Hold the pulse to two. Right here. Ah, we're coming. We're coming. We're coming. Let me pulse. Maybe hands to heart. Lower that left glue. Three, two, one. Stretch. Yes. Congratulations. You did it. You did that part. Stretch. Bow. We're not done. This is extreme salt, baby. Okay. So now stretch that left hamstring. Half pigeon. Good. Lay on your back. Sit water when you need. Maybe up to this handstand, maybe kick. Maybe just get right in there. Last time, kicking, then you them through, meet a down dog. Here is the news. One final standing series. Now we hit the ground. <coughs> Take a sip of water if you need. <coughs> Anytime, one breath in. Downward facing dog. More than way more comfortable. <coughs> We'll be, this is our last series and then we'll be on the ground. Okay, so down dog. Let me actually do this. Stretch it out, take one big, huge breath in. 
Open mouth, exhale, right leg, let's now stretch out your right leg. Pretty good. Feel the right hip. Bring your right foot through. With care, grab your weights. Curtsy series coming up. Weights to shoulders, weights to heart. The left foot steps all the way behind you in a curtsy. Yeah, if you want to stay on your mat, you can move it over. But we are going to tap the left foot to each outer edge of the mat. Adding on, if you like, shoulder opener. Excuse me, shoulders lift and lower. This is about a 20 second set. We'll hold the curtsy. We're getting inner outer thighs. Last time series. Facing for the right and the left, and then we'll be laying down for the rest of the class. So you can do this. We have five more of these for the shoulders. Maybe you can make a circle with the head of the weights. Three, two, hold the curtsy right here. Weights down, circle up, down, up. We're creating a little circle with our weights from our shoulders. Inner thighs, squeeze. Hold it on the low and three more. Good job. Squeeze inner thighs, two. This is the last one. Weights come to heart. We'll pulse everything into the midline. Into the midline. Three, two. Lift the chest. Feel the shoulders. One. Left foot back at first. Set up for warrior two. Right foot is forward. Left foot back. Chest press. After the lunge, as you like. Elbows in. Elbows spread open. Elbows in. Fifteen of these. One set only. Not only are we working the chest. Which is good because we want to strengthen these upper, these pecs. But we're also getting into the lymph node area of the armpits. So we're kind of cleansing our lymphatic system right now. Last four. Inhale. We'll hold the right leg on the low. The next time the right leg comes down, hold it now. W out the arms. If you can, come to the tippy toe of the right foot. Back short. So that your head will wake up. Lower the right thigh a little bit. Pulse the shoulder legs in. Three. Lower the right thigh. Two. One. Weight to heart. Lower the butt. Basic squat is option A. Option B. Hopping in and out with or without weights for 30 seconds. Sometimes if you have a partner to do this, you can face one another. But we'll just stay in this line. And you're going at your own pace. Light lines, toes out and in. Toes out, feet together, toes out, feet together. Yeah, yeah. And the feet come parallel, toes out, parallel. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Light lines, keep the butt low. Two of these total, 20 more seconds. The lower you keep the butt, try not to bounce too much. Out of my inside, out of my inside. 10. Hold it. In nine. Like, keep going, keep going, right here. Last five, four, going as long, belly's in three, two, into the double dog. Long, please, squat the dummies. Add a pelvis, jab, jab, low, hook, up, up, low, low, upper, hook, combo. Three, two, weights to heart. Right knee lunges in. Like a sun off, and add the row. Do two of those, just like that. Row, maybe lift on the next round. The right knee up, arms overhead, that's it. 10 of these, right side. These ones are kind of deceiving one. You can add a kick back with the right arm. Push off the left foot, lower with the right glute. Still full body. We got our left inner thigh opening. We have our right glute strengthening. Weights overhead, abs a little bit. More fat burn. And when we slow down, we're actually burning more fat. Feeding your metabolism up, helping your digestive tract. Three more complete ones. Two. This is the last complete one. Hold it on the low. If possible, weights to hurt. Right elbow to the left inner thigh. This. Low pose. Ooh, hey there. <laughs> Five, four, three. We're also stretching out the left. Two, one. Open up. Rise up, back to horse. All of that on the other side. Basic squats or out, in, out, in, if you want more. <laughs> You're like, what? What do you mean if you want more? On the in, you can raise the weights over the head. <laughs> you don't have to do that. Keep the knees 
knees low, bend. Keep the weights close to you. Keep it happy in the shoulders. Light landings. And now join us on the other side. What do you think? 10, 9. Belly in. Lower with the butt. Lighter. Yes. Into the dojo and forward. I'm just calling it that. Three, two, right here, one. Combo. Combo flavor. Seven, five, five. Yeah. Obliques. Arms. Maybe one. Rinse. Hold. Center. Left knee bends. Out of the row. Let's do two of those. Heart rate still up. Two of those. This time, lift the left leg up. Pushing off that right leg. So that right leg's pushing you off. Left knee's bending. Weights overhead's an option. Makes it a little harder. I'm tricep kicking back in my left arm, but that's an add-on. Try to smooth the lift off and the landing. So the takeoff, slower. Landing slower will make it hard at eight. You can always keep the weights to the chest. Seven. We have an inhale. Exhale. Do one arm overhead or two arms overhead. Ah, this present moment. Getting toward the last part, the latter part of class. Gets challenging. Three more complete rounds, right? Here, this is three. This is two. Okay, one more full one. Knee on the left thigh, low. Hands to heart, left elbow to the inner thigh. You can rest it on the thigh, but if possible, inner thigh pulse. Little more tiny movements. Lengthen belly. Let yourself sweat. Micro bend in right knee. Five, four, three, two. Rise up. Warrior two back to the right leg. Reverse warrior one time for flow. Inhale. Weights pivot. Pull the shoulders. Pivot. Meet in forearm plank any way you can. One and one set only. Forearm jacks. You might want to do a vinyasa. You might want to meet in forearm. Tapping. Legs off. This is our only set. Or right in the leg. Showing the jack. Hand is showing the jack. Lighten. Lighten. The bubble bounce a little bit. Try to minimize that. Belly's wrapping in. You know this is the only one we're doing this. And we got a lot standing side. One last standing side. <laughs> yes, you guys. 20. Belly in. Try to get the weight to the feet. To the out edges of the mat. Chest shines forward. Five. It's good. You can do this alone, but we're pushing it forward. To go past our edge, that's why we do it together. Three. Just past the edge. It feels so good, too. Hold. Dolphin. Stretch the shoulders. Some of you might want to practice pinch of my rest. Some of you are shaking like I am too much. Down bow. Ah, left leg lifts. Let's open through that left hip for a long in inhale breath. Low lunge with care. Curtsy series with the weights. Start with the weights to your heart. Right foot sneaks to the right. I noticed when I went on the wood, it was sweaty, so just kind of keep it probably on the mat. You're tapping right foot behind in your thighs, adding arms straight up in front of you, maybe to the side if you want. Your face up. Elbows bent. Ooh, rotator cuff. Brilliant. Look at that rotator cuff. Ten. The arms straighter. Definitely a little harder. Outer thigh. Inner thigh. Of course, you could lower the weight at any time. Five more. Hold the curtsy in four. I think that was a good idea. Three. <laughs> nothing to prove. Yeah, nothing to prove. Two. Hold the curtsy. Right foot behind. Down. Shoulder blades. Squeeze. Down. Squeeze. If you want another option. Down. Legs in. Down. Out. Five. Three. Hold it on the pulse. We're so close. And I'm squeezing. Hold it on the low. And pulse the weights away from each other. Keep the elbows up in. Rotate the third as belly wraps. Feel that heart rate. Three. You can do this too. Hold the squeeze. Sit lower. Weight to heart. First with care. Out of curtsy. Right foot back. Warrior two. Left side. Yeah. We got it going. Yeah. Shots out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last chest press. And you know, we have less than five minutes of standing, you guys. This is our last standing hit. Try to slide the left 
knee on an angle. So if you're taking a peek and your left knee's crawling forward a little bit, you might need to open the left knee like you're trying to pretend the left knee's opening away from you to behind you. Three. But I'm counting every two. So now we still have a few more. <laughs> one. This is the last one. We'll hold it on the warrior. Two. I sometimes notice I'm coming to the left hip toes. I sometimes notice my voice elevates when it gets hard. <laughs> That's true. Try to keep the shoulder blade squeezing in. Open the left knee away from the front. Get to the back. Pulse the shoulder blade in five. Lower with the left thigh. Long eight, two. You're so close. One weight to hurt. Legs straight. No weights. With yeah. hair. But we're not quite done with no weights. But for now. Right hand to left foot, star. Left hand, right foot, star. Or at the top. Two sets total. Set one. Try to get that light landing. You can spring up light landing for your joints. This whole workout can be done with shoes if you need. I like feeling the feet under, so I like feeling the tripod feet. But light landings definitely mat it up. How's it going, girls? <laughs> so for this last part, if you want that add on, although I know this is hard already, follow the gaze of your eyes. Add that star. Five, four, hold on the low in three, in two, one more full one, knee with the right hand down in the center, pulse. 180 to the right, surfers. So stay in the pulse or 10. To the right. 10. One, oh, 180 is one, two, then to lower at the same time. Exhale, now to touch the ground. Good knees, five. Good knees, bad knees. Four, three, two more 180s, left to lower at the same time. Last one, hold it, take a breath in on this front, shake it out, grab the weights. Feel your heart rate, weights to shoulders. Right here, sumo. Good job, guys. Take a break as needed. Ten. Obliques. Nine. Exhale up and down. We're right there. Feel your heart rate. Half. Your thigh. Your arms. We're strong. We'll hold a pulse spine for on each leg. Three. And that's why. Exhale up and down. Two. Push our limits. We can do this last one. Last one each. Hold it on the low, ladies. And then we're watching. Pulse. One or two weights. Pulse. Elbows are thighs. Pulse. Oh, we're so close. Three. Full range, butt down, butt up. Keep the back flat. You do not have to straighten the legs all the way. If it jeopardizes your integrity of your spine, that's it. Come to just work down. Pushing the butt down. Last three, two, we're just walking to the right and then back to center. Woo. Ten of them. Little baby steps. Tiny. Check out your back. It's not rounded. Three. And we walk right back to center. Right now, little baby steps. Baby steps. Three, two, one. Pulse knees in. Release the weights. Last time. Left hand, left foot. Sorry, you don't have to hop. Last time. When you're ready. Add that spring as an option. 20 seconds. You do not have to start push the legs out right away unless you want to. If, so, if you have the best go to start the start push already, by all means, give it a go. I'm going to save up a little. How about you, ladies? A little. <laughs> ha. Exhale. Spring it up. Spring it up a little bit. Five more of these. Then we're on our last push. Three. Two, ready? If you want to circle it out, ten, nine. So there, so close. Try to feel the moment. Try to get the moment. Mind training. Four, three, two, one. Hold. Bring left hand down to center. Little pulses. Ten, one eighties for the win. Ten. This is the win. Difference between second and first. Right here. Right here. Three, four, out of love. Hands over five. Out of five. I know you can. I know you can. Look at right. Look at edge. One eighty three. Last two right here. This is it. Hold the plate around. Hold the back to center. Grab the weights. Weights to shoulders. Butt down. Leg lift. 
10 each side. You keep the weight to that leg. Calm yourself down. With open mouth exhales. Maybe down. Lean into it. Feel your heart rate. Add that squat in the center. Four. Scissor, arm a little more up overhead, help knees in, rock back up to see. 
One down, one to go. Grab the weights. You know what's coming. I'm not messing around here. Maybe heels dig, toes flex. Some people like to add this. I just want to do what feels like this quick abdominal rinse for the organs. Maybe you're breathing. To long it through the crown of the head. Ten. This is very good to massage your organs for. <laughs> Massaging, clearing your digestive system. Keep the weight to the heart. Again, here we go. So remember, we have the second and final round. <sighs> On the way down, elongate and stretch the belly. Stretch the belly, and you'll feel the work we gave it. Really, the whole class is core. So I love the, the pose Candice is doing. She's keeping her arms away from her chest, which makes it way harder. Not to mention the fact that she's using double the weight that I'm using. <laughs> so she's keeping that. That's really challenging. Do what's going to support you. Strengthen for you. Three more. You got it? Three. I love that form, Candice. And she's keeping her belly elongated. You too, Malia. We'll meet on the top. Lower the weight down. Bicycles. Right in. High to low. And you can keep that going. Just straighten the legs on this time. Get a hamstring. You're all pacing, you'll push the thigh weight. You keep the head down, even. I love all these different variations. And seeing here, you guys can pick your own. Okay, this is another variation. Bams these weight in between the legs. Wow. Keep going. Know that what you're doing is more than enough. No friends, and I'm telling you this. Genuine from the bottom of my heart and soul, you are more than enough as you are exactly. Our peak posture is going to be Shavasana, you guys. So if you're there already, you have the most advanced pose of all. Five, four, three, knee to the left, right here. Now, push your own up by way with one hand. Right leg points up, right leg down. Try to keep even amount of space from left hip crease to left armpit, right hip crease, right armpit, and cinch in the waistline really good. So rather than pulling off on our neck, we're letting our heads be supported by our hand and keeping those shoulders off the earth the best we can. Five, four, so it feels so good. Three, keep going. Two, another full round of right leg up. Now hold the hover, little circles with the right leg, but keep that right leg low, cinch in the belly, low back is nice and supported to the earth, circle the other way. Scissor the inner thighs in. So the left leg will straighten and you might reach the interlaced hands behind you or hold the head, lower the left leg, lower the left leg, lower the left leg as much as you can. I know I said it 20 times, but how hard is it? Keep the right leg. Now maybe keep lifting to the left. Three, squeeze, two, hold, lift left side, lift, lift, reach the arms over the head if you can. The hug knees in. One final ground the belly. Legs up the wall. Legs lower to hover, breath of fire, body centered 30 seconds and done. Right here. Legs as low as you can. And go. Often on workouts, this heart gets skipped. I 
missing, it's the missing link to success in every way. Feel the bottom up, feel all your nervous system calm. One knee at a time, happy baby. Rounding through the lower back and rocking. Just let it feel good. Take a moment to see how good this feels. Calming your body and your mind. Ah. Right ankle over the left side. Hug in, thread the needle, rock it out. Flex the neck. Soften the hinge of your jaw when you breath in. Keep the leg formation and tilt the formation to your left. Undoing the arms. And just like the right knee open away from you, you can then kickstand it or you can subtly kind of, in, yeah, that looks good. And the right shoulder is stretching, the right low back. This is an outer hip. I love this one because it's so efficient. Notice your pelvis. Notice you get heavy. Take one breath into that outer right hip. Soften the tissues in your low back and the mind. Knees out nice and slow, legs up the wall. Left ankle. Crosses right by and hug. This part is so valuable. Often we sit this and run on to the next. So this is telling our body. Oh yeah, I'm going to rejuvenate. We're rejuvenating our body. <sighs> Tip the formation to the right. And we'll just undo the arms. Take standing the left thigh away from me, just gently. Low back. Softens. Notice if my, I notice my left hand has a little grip right there. I'm just gonna let it relax. Let your head relax. Side melting. Slow back to center. Legs up the wall. One last shake. Just one more. Maybe the lips. Next thing, you give yourself a hug. Congratulations. You did so good. Inhale. Most important pose, Shavasana, and out, and out. 